Now 3.30, Broward County Mayor is holding another meeting today, and we just learned they will be stepping up mask enforcement around the county. But they also spoke about their plans for the upcoming Labor Day weekend, and Local 10's Andrew Perez joins us live from Fort Lauderdale with this update. Andrew, what did they say? Yeah, well, local leaders are getting ready for this big, very popular holiday weekend. The beaches, fortunately, will be open this time around, but some changes are coming. By now, we should be used to the masks, social distancing, what to avoid, residents noticing a difference. I think we got a better handle on it than we did before. What we're doing is working, and uh, I think we need to continue doing that for the time being. Broward's COVID snapshot looks good, too. Numbers staying low, finally, but county officials are cautious. The conversation turns to when are we going to phase two? We're not there yet. Broward's Mayor Dale Holness holding another meeting with all city mayors in the county, deciding although numbers are improving, it's time to up the ante, choosing to begin issuing fines to people not wearing masks. Code enforcement will be out there. We now have to prepare for the holiday weekend coming up, which means we're going to see a lot of people coming into town, and we want to make sure that they're socially distancing and we're in facial coverage. The mayor says Broward beaches will stay open for the Labor Day weekend coming up, but code enforcement will be issuing fines of 100 bucks or more for people not wearing masks indoors or near others. The county prior was on more of a warning system. That's changing though, and many cities are jumping on board as well. There could be a resurgence uh, of the virus in September, October. Uh, we want to make sure that if that does occur, we're at the very lowest point that we possibly can be. I mean, eventually going to have a vaccine, so like anything else, you know, it'll definitely peter out and be on to something new. The mayor also going on to say in his conversation with other city mayors that if we can stay below a 5% positivity rate for at the very least two weeks, we can start to talk about opening up things like bars, nightclubs, even playgrounds. This is the latest here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.